If you've been on my channel, then you may know that I recently suffered the loss of a baby. Uh, my husband and I experienced a miscarriage at 11 weeks, and we did know that our baby was going to be a boy. So we had actually quite a few things for that baby already, and we were just preparing for a second child as anybody would. I have already told my miscarriage story and it is published so I'll link it above if you do want to watch it or in the description too if you want to check it out after this video is done. In that video I mentioned having a keepsake box for our son and this video is going to be dedicated to showing you guys all about that and a few more items that I did not show you in that initial miscarriage video including his name. So first off, after having the miscarriage and knowing that we had quite a few items for our son and even a couple of ultrasounds, I decided that I wanted to make a box to remember all of those items and to keep them safe. A keepsake. This box is from Target and everything in this video is going to be linked in the description if I have a link for it, if I know where you can find it. So first, Covering my information, the first ultrasound that we have. This is where he actually had a heartbeat. It was a heartbeat of 120 and he was wiggling around. It was lovely. I really enjoyed having this opportunity to see him. And I did it as an ult early ultrasound because I was on fertility medication. And then we have this other ultrasound from when we lost him. He was measuring up to seven weeks I did have a missed miscarriage, so he stopped growing before my body realized that I had miscarried, um, and then I ended up having a DNC. So those are two things in the box. The next item is this onesie that we had purchased for pictures that we were going to announce that I was pregnant. And while I was pregnant, I just really felt strongly about the song Here Comes the Sun by the Beatles and I just thought oh, here comes our son we found out it was a boy and I saw this on Etsy and I knew it was perfect. Next would be this little blanket that we were given by the hospital uh, right before my DNC. It is a blanket that was made by a local church who makes blankets for miscarriage parents. Um, when they lose their child then they can at least have something because when your baby's born, you take home so many things like a hat, a baby blanket or two. Um, there are just so many things that you receive from the birth of your child. And even though this was not a, a, technically a birth, they were still able to give us something to remember him by. As well as a bracelet. This, this made me cry. There is a pair of baby feet. And I haven't gotten it out. I just want to keep it nice and safe in that little little bag but there's a prayer on this card and it came in a little envelope as well so these are so far what we have in this little keepsake box now we do have a couple of papers from the hospital that I will leave private after the miscarriage my friend had this beautiful necklace sent to me it does have an October flower because that is when he was due and it has a little heart with an H on it, which is his initial. And it says, planted on earth, blooming in heaven. I carry your heart with me. I carry it in my heart. I am never without it anywhere I go. I carried you every second of your life and I will love you every second of mine. And that is so true. Like I, this hit me. I was like, I was so touched by this necklace and I want to wear it but I want to keep it safe so um, <laughs> I haven't decided when I'll wear it but I will wear it at some point and I'll just take it out of the keepsake box anytime I'm ready to wear it but I want it to stay safe with the rest of his things in the meantime. Next up um, I actually was at Target and these little books were at one of the checkout lines and I thought to myself Okay, whatever books I find are meant to be. I found my son Oliver, and we didn't know if we were having a boy or a girl at this point, but I ended up finding our son, our, bo our little boy's name. And it was Henry. So we would have named him Henry, and four pictures to announce that we were pregnant. We also kind of wanted to have something with his name on it, and we ordered this sign. 
and his name would have been Henry Calvin Flater. There's really no rhyme or reason to why we chose Henry Calvin. Those are just two names that we really love, and we won't be naming any future children uh, with the first name of Henry. Henry Calvin will always remain special to this child, and in this keepsake box we have the information about the burial for our son. Our hospital actually offered um, a memorial service, and if the parents chose to have their miscarried baby buried with the hospital, then all of the remains for the lost babies actually go together and is buried once a year at one of our local cemeteries. And it's actually the same cemetery that my grandparents are buried at. So it felt really nice to be able to, to choose that option. And we didn't have any sort of burial plans. I mean, I was only 11 weeks pregnant and our baby only measured, <sighs> Henry only measured to be seven weeks. So he was so small. I mean, there really wasn't going to be much for us to bury. <laughs> and, I didn't want him to be buried by himself, so we did choose the option to have him buried with the rest of the babies that were lost, and uh, we do actually plan on going to that memorial service and burial um, later this year. Whether I'm pregnant or not, we're, we're going to go. This is our son, Henry. So yeah, I really just wanted to show you guys what all was in this basket, and I hope that it helps you. If you're in the same situation as me and trying to find a way to grieve, having this keepsake box actually gives me so much comfort because these are all his things. Even though he wasn't born, these were his items. This was his book that we were gonna read to him. This was his baby blanket, even though we never got to wrap him in it. Oh gosh, it's been three weeks and I still get emotional, but I just finished my makeup too. This box has helped me a lot. As sad as I am, as sad as I am, I know that he's still with me. Um, he'll always be with me. Thanks for listening and watching me cry a little bit. <laughs> Something else I did for Henry was I got a tattoo. Uh, yes, it is a butterfly with a heart. And I did it because... Ever since the miscarriage, I have seen butterflies everywhere. Not literally flying outside because it is too cold still for butterflies to be out, but um, everywhere on my phone, pictures, I see them printed places. Um, I just, they're all over the place and it felt perfect because I was already thinking about getting a butterfly tattoo, but I was like, oh, I don't want to be, I don't want a butterfly tattoo. Not that there's anything wrong with them. Clearly I ended up getting it, but, um, I wanted something that was very significant to him and I just didn't know yet what that could be. But after f seeing so many butterflies over the last few weeks, I did get the butterfly tattoo and now I will always have him with me. And I did not intend for this video to be as emotional as it ended up being, but I want to show you guys because if any of you are in the same situation as me or um, you're trying to help somebody who is, this is something that has given me a lot of comfort. And even though I've done a lot of healing, um, it still hurts sometimes. This is my box. Actually, this is Henry's box. But anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching and let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments. So, bye for now.